Hey guys, in today's video we're going to take a look on how you can collect customer feedback, basically reviews directly inside your chatbot. So there is no need for a subscriber or a customer to enter any kind of form, you can do that directly inside the chatbot itself. So how does this work inside of YouChat? If you go towards the contents tab on the left hand side, you can go to the topic customer feedback topics. From here, you can create a new customer feedback topic and you will see that this is only available for the messenger channel. So if you're working on other channels only, this might not be a suitable solution for you. But for those who are creating chatbots on messenger, you can create these customer feedback topics. So how does this work? You can go towards the new feedback topic button on the right hand side. You can create a topic name. So let's say uh, for me, I am doing coaching calls quite often. So for me, let's say I'm going to go with the topic name coaching call. The question could be that, right? So this could be a question title. And now we have a few types and score labels to choose from. So we can choose between these different types. We have the customer satisfaction score. We have the net promoter score. We also have the customer effort score. And we also have the uh, free input form. So the free input form does not allow you to rate anything, but just get feedback back only. But you can choose any of these other ones. So let's say we're going with the first one, customer satisfaction score. Then we have different kinds of score labels to choose from. So we can go with very likely or unlikely. Depending on my question, this is not a good option to choose, right? So how did you experience our coaching call? Uh, this kind of question, very likely or unlikely, uh, could work with questions like, would you refer us to your friends and network, for example, right? So let's go with a negative positive. And then we also have score options that we can choose from. We can, we can go with one to five or just five stars, right? So we can do this one. We can go with five stars or we can also go with emojis, right? So as you can see, if you hover over the emojis, you will see it de depicting the same, right? So if you have an average, it will be a neutral face. If it will be four and up, it will be a happy face. So let's just go with the five stars. But you can also use a free input form as well. So besides the rating, you can still ask for additional feedback but it is optional, right? So we could say something like, so we could say something like this. So if we go with a privacy policy, you can refer to the privacy policy on your website, for example. For me, I will just refer to my main page and you can also let it expire. So if soon as you send this, you can let it expire between one or seven days. So for me, let's just leave it at three days. And now we can save this. Now we created our feedback topic, but how can you use this inside of your flow and then send it towards the user? It's really simple as with a lot of things inside of YouChat. So let's go to a flow, let's create a new flow and let's say this will be customer feedback. Let's create the flow itself. And now we could say something like, we could say something like this, let's give a button. Then the next step could be, for example, we are going with another send message block and then we are going towards this section, not text, but we're going to add an item. Not sure what happened there, but we're going to add an item. And the item will be inside the Omni channel, at least it will be under the other tab, and then the customer feedback. From here, you can give it a title. Then if we press the button rate experience, we can go with any button title that we want to. Let's leave it at rate experience for now. And then we can select any of the feedback topics that we created. So we created the coaching call, right? And now we can save the score to a user field and we can also save the user feedback to a user field. So let's create two different kinds of user fields. Let's say this will be customer underscore review score. Let's just give this a text. And then the same goes with the customer review feedback. Go. And then press save. And from here, we can just go with a confirmation message. And let's see how this all looks like. So we could say something like this, right? So we have a really short flow, but let's publish this and let's preview this. 
let's go with the preview. So, hey Mark, could you help me out by reviewing our coaching call from yesterday? Just press the button below. It will take less than one minute to do. So let's do it. And now we will get towards the customer feedback topic. We press the button rate experience. And from here, we get a little pop-up, basically a short web view. We can give our rating. So let's give it a four. We can give it additional feedback. We can say submit. And then we will get the confirmation message. So thank you so much for taking your time to help me out. Really appreciate it. So how can you keep track of all of these customer feedback topics that you get back inside of your chatbot? If we go back towards the customer feedback topics itself, we can now press the analytics icon on the right hand side. So if you do so, you will see that you will be able to select the time interval. You will see the feedback requested, the feedback received. You will see different kinds of responses directly here. As you can see, this will be the preview. And here at the bottom left, you will see all the available, basically the available feedback that you received, right? So we have a score, we have a user feedback, and we also see when this is received. And you can use this feedback to improve your services, contact people who were dissatisfied with, in this case, a coaching call, right? And then see if you can help them out and let them do another feedback topic, which will increase your score as well. This is a great overview of how you can receive customer feedback reviews directly inside of Messenger. If you like this video, do consider dropping a like because it will help us reach more people and discover the power of UChat and chatbot marketing. If you want to get notified as soon as a new video goes live, do press that subscribe button and the bell notification to the right of it and we'll notify you as soon as we push a new video. For now, have a great day, take care and talk soon.